Well, good morning officially. Wonderful to see all of you here this morning. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to join me in our natural tech workshop. Um, Zoom meetings are something that I've actually been doing for Davinus for, I guess, over two years now, and they tend to have been pre-scheduled already on Fridays at nine o'clock. Uh, generally, what I used to do is I would have one for products, and then I would have the next month I would do one on color, and we would just sort of alternate that way. Um, and then we started adding more workshops in just based on the fact that people had um, interests in certain areas that they wanted to be able to explore further. Um, natural tech is one for me that I'm truly passionate about. I think that this changed for me how I saw hair uh, and my ability to actually make a difference with someone's hair and with someone's scalp. Um, I started to notice that personally with my own hair and scalp, but then of course there's people along the way, family members and friends, that will have had similar experiences or different experiences uh, that really kind of solidify how passionate I am about the natural tech line. Um, I'm guessing that everyone on the call would have a basic understanding of Davinus. So I'm not gonna give a lot of information about Davinus in this, but I always think that it's important that we remember the why or align ourselves with the why. So I will start with that portion. And again, thank you so much for, for joining. It's wonderful to see all of you here this morning. Um, so for me, my why Davinus, I do have to say that I like to try to find that reason why in a different way as often as I can. And I think I try to do that in every part of my life just because it stops me from feeling complacent or stuck in a rut. So for me, the why Davinus, I think has been even easier than ever before in a time like this. I found that Davinus as a brand and as a company has not been doing any focus on selling and trying to like you know, kind of push in a sales perspective, but we're actually really seeing even deeper the true community aspect of how the company operates. Um, of course, Davinus being out of Parma, Italy, and that was one of the main locations where we saw the outbreak happen. And so Davinus ended up stopping their production for products for a period of time to manufacture hand sanitizer. There was over 100,000 in their first um, batch that they then donated um, to the frontline people in Italy to be able to support them with something that was not readily available. And so I just always think of how wonderful and incredible it is when people kind of take away and take a step back from some of the things that we're driven to do, but to actually give back to others. So for me, that's something that I've always seen in Davinus um, and, and recognized and supported, but it was really nice to see in that capacity. Um, the other thing on a personal level, which I have shared, so if you've been on a Zoom and heard it before, um, bear with me, but um, last year when I was working with Davinus, between January and September, I believe it was 36 locations that I traveled to. And so in those 36, you're looking at flights in both directions. Um, Davinus made sure that my travel was completely zero impact for that time frame. So not only was my travel completely zero impact, but every single person that worked for Davinus and works for Davinus continuing forward, all of their flights and travel are completely zero impact. So what I think is great when we think of those different factors, and then of course, probably the, the obvious one in that is the fact of being family run and manufacturing your own products. We all know there's a huge difference when we cook at home, which we're probably doing a lot more of now than before. And then when we eat out, there's a different control of what it is that you're choosing to make with your ingredients and what you're choosing to, to allow into your system. And so that type of control, I see huge value in for the understanding of where the ingredients come from and the fact of just being able to know that the research and development is happening right there in Parma, Italy. So to summarize, I think the fact that Davinus gives back to the communities, including their own, uh, family-run manufacturing, research and development right in Parma, Italy, and then balancing out the carbon emissions so that the people that work for the company regardless of how often or how much they travel, it is completely zero impact. And so when consumers are picking Davinus 
and when you're picking Davinus, I always think whatever brand it is that you're supporting, there's so much value in the end consumer, our guests and people knowing the reason why, because this is where they're going to form that loyalty, not only with you, but the choices you're making. The average person, and even more so now, I'm going to say wants to know where things are coming from, how they're made, and why they're good for them. And so we basically have the opportunity to, to vote with our choices. And so that's something that you'll start to see probably even more so now, is because when things have been taken away from us, when we have that opportunity to make a choice, there's a, a stronger kind of reason behind why we do what we do. So having that clear picture with natural tech, one of the big differences in natural tech is that the focus is on improving hair and scalp. So what we end up seeing, and I remember this as a very, very young stylist. So I started in the industry when I was 15. And so very clearly in the beginning, you know, I probably had very little knowledge of of anything probably compared to, to what I have knowledge of now, but definitely of scalp and hair. And so when you're starting those first few sections and you know you kind of do your, your primary section and you can't help but see what's happening on someone's scalp, I remember feeling uncomfortable with what it was I was seeing, but not with the understanding that I had the ability or even that it was my position to do something about it. When you think of what doctors cover, so when, when someone's going to medical school, the amount of time that they are going to focus on scalp and hair in the scheme of all their other things is going to be such a small amount. It doesn't mean that they don't have the expertise they have, but if you want to talk about who is actually seeing and touching scalp and hair more, by far it is going to be us as hairstylists. The other thing is that oftentimes people are going to be way more open and sharing with us as hairstylists than they may be to a medical professional, just for the fact that sometimes people may feel like they're being judged and they also may feel uncomfortable booking or going into those appointments. Whereas when they're coming to us, they're going to be a lot more likely to share what's happening in their life, which may contribute to scalp or hair. When we think about the changes in the seasons, so as the seasons change, we start to change our wardrobe. We start to change even sometimes how we feel. When spring comes out the last week, at least in Vancouver, it's been beautiful. And so I think that for a lot of people, you start to feel your spirits kind of lifted and you feel a little lighter and brighter. And so these are going to be things that we wanna keep into consideration that as things are changing in every aspect of our lives, wouldn't it be changing as well for our scalp and our hair? And so this is where it's really great to have a line like Natural Tech that's able to support the changes in scalp and hair as the seasons go on, but also keep in mind what's happening right now. So right now, we can't help but recognize that our bodies and our systems have gone through more stress. When our bodies and systems go through more stress, we may change our sleeping habits, we may change our eating habits. We may even change our exercise, possibly drinking habits. And so different things like caffeine and sugars and alcohols are going to have effects on our scalp, which in turn is going to affect our hair. Of course, stress is gonna be a huge factor. And so sometimes in that immediate moment of stress, you may not necessarily have the side effect then, but you may start to see it in a month down the road. That's where you may get breakouts, you may get kind of itchy or dry scalp. And so why don't we go through and list the different things that we could experience from scalp and how natural tech can help either prevent or eliminate or solve those issues. So sometimes the obvious one that I think we can be very familiar with is dry or flaky scalps, right? So you could see kind of like a dryness or flakiness. With that, there can also be itchiness. There, excuse me, there could be dandruff. There also could be hair loss. There could be oily scalps, which means you feel like you have to wash your hair more. Or sometimes there could even be an unwanted smell that's associated to an oily scalp. There could be times where we're experienced more from the hair perspective, extreme breakage. We could also 
realize that the sort of hair texture itself is not as ideal or it has changed compared to what we've been familiar with. And then there's going to be times where maybe it even just our scalps can just feel sensitive. I don't have long hair, but I can appreciate that sometimes even if I'm to wear a hat, my head can feel more sensitive some days than other days. So you're going to see that our scalp is going to have many, many different issues that are going on. The great thing with a line like Natural Tech is again, it can either eliminate, it can solve the problem, it can minimize it, but it can also be preventative. And so this for me would probably be one of the biggest lines that I would put emphasis on when we're coming back to salons or even if you're selling curbside right now, to be able to really recognize that these are things that can help with your guests, but also with your own hair and your own scalp. If I think of my scalp, I tend to think of it as almost like the soil. It's almost like the foundation of where your hair is coming from. So you want to have the best fertilizer. You fertilize, kind of have the best flowers or the best plants, the best fruits and vegetables. So in a sense, that's how I would look at wanting to care for my scalp. When my scalp is in optimal condition, my hair then will be, which then means that the texture and the shine and the fullness will be, but also then you wanna be looking at what is happening with the hair as a fiber when the hair is growing. So these are the things that we're going to cover when we look at natural tech. There's a few different aspects that you will find automatically when we work with natural tech. Natural tech originated with the foundation of fetaceuticals. Fetaceuticals are active plant compounds, so they have the ability to fight disease and breakdown. Have you heard of the term antioxidants? Antioxidants is anti-aging. So unfortunately, as we sit here on this call today, sorry to be the bearer of bad news, we are slowly aging. No matter what it is that we are doing, we are slowly aging. So these plants have the ability, because of their extreme concentrated versions, to be able to fight that aging process. So immediately using the natural tech line, you will be fighting the aging process, which doesn't always have to mean age as feeling older, it can mean breakdown of hair as well, or of scalp, which then could make your scalp susceptible to some type of irritation. So fighting the aging process will be automatic. Then we also have the ability in these pharmaceuticals and active ingredients to be able to fight and prevent the disease through anti-free radicals. Free radicals have the ability to attract or attack themselves onto things that are already weak. So that's why if you tend to have more sugars or alcohol, caffeine, lack of sleep, stress, I don't know, I feel like I could probably raise my hand to a few, maybe you could raise your hand to a few. So this line will naturally fight against what could contribute to, again, scalp or hair concerns. And then we also are going to have the ability to have antiseptic benefits, which also are going to be able to fight and prevent different diseases. And it's also going to take away inflammation. And so when you don't have any type of irritation, then you're going to notice that there's going to be inflammation, which is going to be you know, created with the irritation. So the whole line will support that. Why I wanted to share all of those different benefits is that if you're ever concerned about recommending the so-called incorrect product, the nice thing is, is that the line was created in a complete way to support scalp and hair, which means even if you recommended one that was not exactly the ideal for that situation or issue, it would still make an improvement. So all of the products have those same benefits and then they have a focus onto something more specific. So rest assured, it doesn't matter which product within Natural Tech, if you have a scalp or hair issue, you're better to use Natural Tech than to not use Natural Tech. So now we'll go ahead and we'll do a breakdown of what the different ones are. So what I've done here is I've created sort of two different sections. We're going to have this section here, and then we have the subsection. The main section here are all of the natural tech products that have a matching conditioner. So nourishing, well-being, repumping, and renewing. 
So the ones that have a matching conditioner, this is going to be your trick for this, is that the matching conditioner means you can use those shampoos and conditioners every day, all the time, as often as you like, okay? So that's gonna be your simple way to associate the difference between more of the specific treatments, which don't have a matching conditioner, to the ones that do have a matching conditioner. The benefit of the matching conditioner is that you're going to notice that the treatments that have the matching conditioner are for scalp and hair more focused, whereas when we're looking at more of just the treatments, those ones are gonna be more primarily focused to scalp. So again, shampoo and conditioner use as often as you like. Our chemists at Davinus have often said that they really believe the best program is to be alternating between various different shampoos and conditioners. So I can agree with that. And I think in natural tech, when you're looking at a specific scalp or hair issue, then you may be using these shampoos and conditioners pick the appropriate one, which I'll go through, and then in between working with the treatments or just sticking with this line when it's complete, then I would go back to it. For me personally, because I'm prone to scalp things, and I think when we're having those consultations with our guests, it is important to be able to share sometimes your own personal story just for the fact that it creates normalcy in having scalp or hair issues so that it makes it so that it's not so unusual. When we start to speak openly and comfortably about the things that we're managing, then we will find our guests tend to have the same type of approach in understanding that these are things that happen more often than not. But if I'm going to be more of a natural tech person, I probably will always stay in this category just because I want to be preventative at the times where my scalp and hair are not reacting the way that I, you know, with the way that I would like them to. So with this, let's go ahead and start with our nourishing. So our nourishing, you probably can get the basic understanding of what the name of this would be doing for the hair. So nourishing is going to provide nourishment for scalp and for hair. So this is going to be your shampoo and conditioner that's going to be tended to use if you happen to have hair that is more on the damaged side or if you have scalp that's a little bit on the drier side. I tend to say that you're going to find this is going to be more categorized to people that are blonde or having lighter hair or have had more chemical treatments put in their hair and this is going to be a better support for it. What's wonderful about this is that we have actually relaunched this recently and so the support that you get from the nourishing shampoo by having the keratin complex is going to be able to give you that ability to restructure and repair the hair. The benefits when we're looking at how these types of products work is that this is not only going to be supportive for the fact of lightening hair or putting hair through various processes, but it's also going to have the ability when we're using more of the specific treatments to help reattach the parts of hair that are about to start to break apart through the keratin support. So that's gonna be a vegetable-based keratin that's going to allow the hair to start to like re-adhere, kind of like reattach to itself to better support the hair. With this, you're going to have various different options for conditioners. We originally used to have what was just called a veggie miracle. The vegetarian miracle conditioner, and now we also have a vegetable a vegetarian uh, miracle mask. So you're going to have two options. When you have the two options, what I wanna encourage you to remember is thinking of the texture of hair. When you have a finer texture of hair, then you're going to be probably more based in a conditioner way. When you have a more coarser, thicker, wiry types of textures, then the mask is going to be better for you. It is going to have the ability to be a little richer, but a little soft, softer, which could potentially kind of create a little bit more of that weighted feel, a little bit more of that slip that gives that hair the collapse that you're looking for when the hair is kind of expanding based on an unwanted texture from the chemical processes. So that's where you're going to see the two of these. Then when you're going to want a treatment for the nourishing, then you have the option as an at-home treatment to be using the pack. The pack is going to have more focus on keratin 
And so this is something that I tend to rec recommend, I would say about once a week. So I tend to look at my treatments as being more of a Sunday treatment. So Sunday treatment is going to be what I would recommend when you're wanting to use the pack, more focused on the keratin, looking at the different sizes of keratin, a smaller size and a larger size. When we think about how does keratin work with hair, one of the things that is really great to think about is to find a way to have an analogy of what does the hair shaft look like compared to something that maybe we're familiar with, but also our, our end clients are familiar with. So what I'm referring to is we could look at either the road with potholes, or we could go ahead and we could look at a sponge that has little holes to it. And so what you're going to want to think about is that when you have like something that has those imperfections, so either a sponge or a row that has the missing holes in it, what you're trying to do is you're trying to fill in those imperfections. And so those imperfections are going to be filled in with keratin. And that's why you're going to need and require the different sizes of keratin to fill in there. So if you think about it, if you had tile and grout, the larger size could be kind of like the tile and the smaller size could be like the grout. So they're all kind of fitting in together. So if you don't have the full combination of different types of keratin, then you're not gonna be able to support the hair completely. Keratin does have a love affair with color. And I do see a question coming in, which I think is going to match with this. Is the pack color safe? Yes, absolutely. The whole entire line for Davinus and for Natural Tech will be color safe. And here's why I wanna encourage you to, to remember that is because of the fact that we manufacture hair color, we manufacture products for, the, for hair, but we also have comfort zone for skin. Our research and development lab works with all three on a regular basis together to make sure that they're all supported in each other. And that's why we're going to have such a strong ability to be able to understand the scalp based on the fact of our research and development of our skincare products being comfort zone. So with the pack being color safe, what you want to think about is that if you have a big hole in the road, or if you also have a hole in a sponge and you put color on that hair, right, that has those holes, that color has the potential to either over pigmentize or to be put in and then completely pop out because there does, isn't any foundation to kind of lock into. So with that, when you're going to have something with keratin that you're gonna be able to support it with, it's giving it almost that anchor to be able to lock into, and it's creating a smaller area that allows it to be able to stay for more longevity. So yes, absolutely color safe for the whole line. One of the newer products within this, oh, I already pulled it forward, is the keratin sealer. So this is going to be recommended to be used every time you're using the nourishing line, because it's closing the cuticle afterwards to help seal and lock in all of the support of the treatments that you've been using along the way. So this will be a really great support for you with the nourishing line. So again, in recapping, you have a shampoo, you have a conditioner and a mask, you have a pack and a sealer. Shampoo, and you pick which, either the conditioner or the mask. Once a week, you would use the pack, and every time you use the nourishing, you would use the sealer. Why it's so important to think of a program that way is that most of us in other areas of our life use programs. You either use programs for a workout, you may use programs for a diet, whatever it is, you have a system that you use. I always remind people of the fact that if someone says, well, I only am going to buy one product. Well, is there ever really one thing? Like, do you only use one thing on your hair? Do you only use one thing on your face? Do you only use one item of clothing? Most of the time, there's a few steps to something. So I want to always encourage you to give the benefits of each of the products. And then if your guest only wants to pick one, allow them to make that choice. Because otherwise, by you saying you only need this one product is a little misleading in the fact of the benefit. So again, just reiterating the shampoo, what the benefits are going to be. And for the nourishing, we're going to be you know, benefiting the hair by nourishing the hair and the scalp, picking the appropriate conditioner or mask, using the protein pack, which is rebuilding and restructuring, and then having the sealer to close that all down, which will keep it soft and smooth and shiny. The keratin line within 
nourishing benefits are going to be will also help protect against sun damage. So this is a really great support specifically for colored hair and blonde hair and bright colors, as well as for chemical processes. So nourishing line, definitely one of our more popular lines for the fact that there are many people that have had processed hair, many people that have blonde hair, and many of us that go outdoors. So that's going to be your primary focus for nourishing. When we look into well-being, I don't know if anyone on our, our Zoom call today, which again, thank you all for joining. It's a great turnout today. Uh, when you have ever, or have you ever used anything like that involves echinacea? Echinacea can be something that you can use as a preventative measure to be, you know, to prevent yourself from getting a breakdown, getting sick, getting a cold, but it can also have healing properties. So our well-being is the line that has echinacea in it. So this is going to be a really great hydrating line. It's going to be great with moisture, but it will be also great to prevent any type of disease or breakdown. So I believe that this is a great line, shampoo and conditioner, to use in between your treatments whenever you're concerned potentially about having something come back or in between when you've been managing a scalp or hair issue. I just find that this is a really great lightweight feeling in the hair, but it still is hydrating. So it's great for all hair types. And I feel like for me, it's my when in doubt. When I'm not really sure what's going on with someone's hair or scalp or even the, the stress or what the issues are, it's a really great go-to because you're guaranteed to get the performance you need and then you can branch off into a specific treatment. So this one has a shampoo and a conditioner on its own. Then we have the replumping. The replumping is one that tends to be one of my favorites. And so again, if we look at nourishing for the blondes and for people that spend a lot of time outdoors and for chemical processes, your uh, well-being is going to be more of your moisture, your, your general go-to. Your replumping is going to fit into another area. It's going to be ideal for people with fine hair. So this case, we're going to think of the, the active ingredient, the fetusutical, is plums. What does a plum look like or what is a plum when it's dried up? A plum when it is dried up is a prune. So you could think of like a raisin to a grape or a prune to a plum. Personally, I would prefer my hair to have the fullness and sort of the, the softness and the shine that a plum or a grape would have versus a prune or a raisin. So simple way to think of when you're adding moisture in the right way, it's not creating the slip and the weight, but it's actually creating that fullness and that plumpness that the hair is looking for. So that's what you're going to find with the replumping. So this is great for a finer texture of hair. It's also great for curly textures of hair. So when you think of a curly texture of hair, a lot of times what you're noticing is that in the root area, there tends to be a great amount of oil and sebum production. But as the ends of the hair, we start to lose that just because of the formation of the curl. And so the replumping has the ability to hydrate and soften right from roots to ends in the hair. This is also great for any type of ethnic hair that tends to be resistant to moisture. You're gonna know that type of hair because they're also resistant to great coverage. So for us, I will probably mention the replumping and the renewing as a line to recommend to people that have resistant great coverage. I'm not saying that we can eliminate that issue, but we can definitely minimize it because when hair is hydrated, it doesn't tend to push the moisture away. And the analogy that I like to use in that is that think about the desert versus Vancouver. So if you're not from Vancouver and you're not familiar, we live in a rainforest. And so as us living in a rainforest, it can rain and rain and rain and we very rarely will have floods. The soil just keeps being like a really moist sponge and just keeps absorbing more and more and more moisture. You now go down to the desert, it rains a little bit and immediately you can have a flood. And that's because the soil and the surface is so dry that when the water kind of comes pounding down, it doesn't have anything that's soft to absorb. So it literally just repels it and pushes it off. Think of the hair as the same. That texture and the way that the keratin is on the hair can be so hard and it can be so sealed closed that it doesn't allow the moisture to come in, which then creates issues further for great coverage. So the replumping can be great for people that have resistant hair. 
great for textured or curly hair and great for finer hair. Never does my hair feel too weighted. And again, with the line, what's nice about it is that you can use a very little amount of conditioner, but sometimes even if you have a finer texture and don't want to, you can go ahead and just use the leave-in conditioners instead of the conditioner if you prefer to not have a weighted feeling to your hair. So repumping is going to be what you would use for that. The leave-in conditioner has hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is often used in skincare and it allows the hair to attract as much moisture as possible to plump it up. When you think of skincare, we use hyaluronic acid to plump up skin. And so this is going to be the same. Unfortunately, as we age, those certain aspects, plumpness and fullness and elasticity, cannot happen naturally in the same way. So a lot of times we need to use things to kind of bring that fullness and volume back into our skin or our hair. So in this case, it's a sugar molecule that penetrates deep into the hair shaft, trapping the moisture in, which gives it that fullness. So this is a leave-in that you can use, spraying in sparingly, and it allows the hair to keep that fullness and that moisture in the hair. Then we move to the renewing. I do truly love this line. This is another line that I use kind of in between with the replumping. The renewing. If you were to say, could you have your hair at least 25% fuller, softer, and shinier? Would you want that? So renewing is that product. Renewing has been scientifically proven and tested outside of Davinus, so an outside testing source to prove that by using renewing the whole entire program, you will improve your softness, shine, and fullness by at least 25%. That's amazing in my perspective. So in this case, we are using this with spinach and with a mackey berry. So these are going to be the two main ingredients that are going to be active to allow that. One of the benefits that you're going to find with these ingredients is that they have the ability to help renew the cell process. So when we think of what's happening with our, our skin and with the name renewing, it's allowing you to kind of keep regenerating that in an active way. So shampoo is going to be ideal. Then you're going to have your conditioner treatment to follow up. And the nice thing with these two is that depending on your hair texture, you can actually use the conditioner first. So what I'm referring to is for a hair texture like mine, and specifically if it was longer, I have very, very baby fine hair like a piece of thread, I may not like a weighted feel of a conditioner. So in this case, I could have wet my hair, apply the conditioner, rinse, and then shampoo with the renewing shampoo, and I don't have to apply the conditioner. Let's say your hair was opposite of mine. So you had beautiful hair with like corkscrew curls and fullness and it was long and it felt like it really was more on the aging side of hair, not meaning you, meaning your hair is aged, right? Because if hair is a fiber, and if hair has been on my head seven years, that hair, just like any other fiber, has been through a lot in seven years. It's not regenerating the hair in the same way that our skin has the ability to. So in that case, you could use the, the conditioning treatment before, like I would use, and then you could use the shampoo, and then you could even follow up with it afterwards as a standard conditioner or treatment. So this is going to be something that you can use in a few different ways. So recapping, you could use it before your shampoo for finer texture. For standard application, just use the shampoo and then the conditioner. And for more extreme cases, conditioner, shampoo, conditioner. Then to follow up, then we're going to have the ability to use our serum. Our renewing serum is going to be a beautiful application for, again, thinking of anti-aging. So what I'll often do in classes, and it was funny because right before this, I was like, oh my gosh, I should put moisturizer on my skin because with all like the cleansing and hand sanitizers, I definitely feel like my skin is much more aged. And then of course, I'm not doing my nails myself. So that is kind of adding to the feeling. But for this demonstration, I think that this will be ideal. Okay, so here's my hand before. And now I'm going to put some drops on it. So in using a serum for anti-aging, when you start to rub this in, and I recommend doing this for yourself or even with your clients, 
what you're going to notice is that when you feel this, it absorbs in beautiful, just like an anti-aging serum you would use on your skin. But these are drops that you would be putting on your scalp and rubbing in. Why it's so important to use is that now when I show you, you can see that the skin looks softer and more supple compared to the other side. And at the same time, you can see that there's not like any type of real sheen or shimmer going on. So it's just a very, very soft, velvety feeling. Why that's great is that when someone's using something on their scalp, a lot of times products that are meant to prevent or get rid of an issue, they tend to be quite oily. So they may work in the sense of eliminating a problem, but then the person is left feeling kind of oily or greasy. And so this is nice to feel that it's just super soft and velvety feeling. And in that case, people are going to understand how the benefit will feel for them. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on the other side just because now I feel that I'm self-conscious about how that looks. <laughs> but so yes, so definitely this is a great thing to be able to put on your scalp and then to be able to distribute through to the rest of the hair to help support so again, keeping in mind that the program for Natural Tech, when someone understands your why for Davinus and your why for recommending the treatment line, then what you're going to see is they're going to have a better way to follow through the steps. And I would probably just recommend, based on the person's hair type, I'm giving you guys three different options within renewing. But when you have the client in front of you, pick the way that you want them to use it so that it doesn't seem too confusing and overwhelming. Keeping in mind the fact that for most people, much better, <laughs> for most people, we are going to really appreciate personalized service. If we look on the call right now where there was 25 people on the call, all of us are going to have different hair textures, different needs, different lifestyles, different colors, different styles. And so all of us should probably have a slightly different program that we are going to refer to. And so it's important that our clients and guests feel that same support and care that you're picking what's best for them based on what it is that you believe they have. And so now that we've covered sort of the ones with the conditioner, I'll just do a quick recap on how I would have that conversation. So when your client comes in, and I get it, we're going to want to catch up and we're gonna to wanna to know what's happening. But it may not be a bad idea to find a way to start the consultation with them in gentle communication before they come in. Now, I don't know what type of things that you guys have realized in what the changes may be when we're back into action behind the chair, but it's my understanding that there's a few things that are going to be considered. And I know this is slightly off topic, but I feel like it, it does come back to this. What we're probably going to see is that social distancing will still be something that is a concern, which in that case, it means that we will have to monitor how many people are allowed in a space at a certain time. There also may be restrictions on how um, long a person is in your environment. So if we're gonna look at you know, how, how many people, how close they are, how long, then we may need to start building up a rapport where we're communicating with people before and after they're in our environment. So this is a perfect time to start that, where we can talk about, hey, you know, and, and I know it's a little bit hard because it may be too far off, but once we know when we're opening, we may want to reach out and say, hey, send me a picture of your hair. Let's talk about what's been happening with your hair, what you've been experiencing, so we can best support you when you come back. Or even touching base and saying, look, I know that we usually color your hair. What have you come up with? For me personally, I don't believe that shaming or judging is ever going to be a great thing for any of our relationships. I'm gonna tell you if my spouse or my child or if I did that to my spouse or child, that would not help me in my relationship. So I always wanna keep that communication open of like, what are you doing? How are you managing this? Did you want some recommendations? And then what you can do is you can start to kind of build up that rapport. So based on the fact that, you know, you're working, you're, you still have your job, not meaning me, like your, your client. The fact that you're still working, you must be very, very tired. You must be overworked. We tend to find that our scalp or our hair may be affected by that. And I do have some recommendations if you're noticing any of these things. Dryness, itchiness, hair loss. You know, like, and these are some of the things that I may feel. 
And then let's say, wow, you lost your job. That's pretty stressful. I lost mine too. So I can relate to what that feels like. In my situation, when I go through a lot of stress, I tend to have hair loss. So when I have hair loss, this is what I feel is the best thing. A lot of times, and we'll get into the hair loss one, but I'll just cover this quickly. A lot of times, the stress of the hair loss creates tension. And our scalp gets tight. And as it gets tight, it cuts off the circulation. When it cuts off the circulation, it actually cuts off the area that the hair is coming through. And so in turn, in about a month's time, people may experience hair loss. I would tell you anyone that I have that's, that's been having that issue of a, a loss of a job or a loss of, of anything in their life, I would move into our hair loss program at least for a month just to kind of like keep that cell reproduction, keep that hair growth happening, stop the hair loss, be preventative, just because that's the last thing any of us need is to have the things that we're going through and then to have like clumps of hair because I have had it happen probably three or four times in my life and I can sit here and chat all about it all I want and until it happens when I'm in the shower then I'm like what was I saying again what am I supposed to do like the panic is real when you feel clumps in your in your hands or you see clumps in your shower it's a little harder for me to find it now with shorter hair but when your hair is longer and it wraps around your hands a lot you'll notice that so for me this is a line that I would definitely start to have that conversation prior to people being booked in your chair how we handle what we're going through is going to be the success of us long term. If we think that we're just going to open our doors and life is going to continue as it was before, I feel like that is doing us and what we've experienced a disservice because truthfully, there will have to be a gradual way to go back. And so now is a chance for us to look at what it is that we can do to best support us and our clients. And for me, truthfully, it's not about the sale in this. It's about the fact that this is going to fix and eliminate and minimize that problem. And it's going to help their hair be the best it can be for what they're going through or for what they're experiencing. So those are going to be some of the conversations that I would recommend having. And that's going to be how you would work within your nourishing. So these are the ones that have shampoos and conditioners that match together. And that means that you can use them as often as you like and quite regularly and continuously. Now I'm gonna pull the treatments out in front. So these are going to be the treatments that are going to be more focused for a specific issue. Let's see if I can push those other ones back. So that is a little bit easier to see the difference. Okay, so we have our detoxifying, we have our calming, we have our rebalancing and we have our energizing. If those of you are from the United States, I apologize if I'm leaving you out, but there is also a purifying that exists in the States but does not exist in Canada. And so because I'm based out of Vancouver, Canada, I cannot have the purifying here. So we will just imagine for those of you in the States that there is a purifying and all of us are extremely jealous. <laughs> so detoxifying. Detoxifying has artichokes as our active ingredient, and this is a scrub. The scrub is a silica base with a mineral base, so that is like an exfoliator. I use this analogy a lot. If I were to go ahead and wash my hardwood floors, my floors would be great and clean and sparkly. If I were to bring in one of those buffers, where I really got in there and kind of gave it that big overhaul, can you imagine the difference that would be? The same thing if we were to exfoliate our skin versus our general everyday washing. The same thing if we were to, you know, use a little bit of a file on our nail and kind of create that softness instead of the, the catchy edges. That is what your detoxifier does. It has the ability to exfoliate and lift off any of the imperfections on the scalp, but also on the hair. So who is this going to be great for? Pretty well every single one of us. This is a great starting place when you have a scalp or hair issue because it's gonna have the ability to remove things. Again, this would be a great support right now because again, if we think about it, if our clients are not coming in as regularly, they're gonna wash their hair potentially differently than we do. We probably always do our two shampoos or we know when we need to do two shampoos instead of one. And I know that like a lot of people don't even realize that if you've washed your hair and you don't have a lather, that that first shampoo is basically getting through the oil 
and the dirt, the next one's actually having the benefits. And that's why we would wash twice. So the detoxifying is going to have that ability to get through all of that. So this scrub will be your first step. I'm gonna say for blondes, you will definitely notice that your hair is blonder. And specifically with pollution, just like wearing a white shirt, why are white shirts sometimes get a little bit dusty or they kind of lose that, that bright crispness is because of the fact that you're going to find that the pollution or the dust adheres to it. So for blonde hair, it's the same. Unfortunately, a blonde and I could go into the same work environments, the same lifestyle, and my hair will still be the same color and the blonde would slowly start to look darker and not have that sparkle or brightness or lightness. That's the reason when you go and do highlights in a newer area, outside of the fact that the keratin is a little different when the hair is just grown out, but at the same time, the ends of the hair don't often match because they've been so built up with what's happening in our bathtubs and showers, but as well what's happening from the standpoint of pollution and buildup. So the exfoliator is going to keep them extra bright, bright and shiny and blonde. So that's gonna be a great support. So again, a really great product for all the time, but specifically now I think that that would be a really great one. Um, yes, this would be a great product for buildup. And this is also going to be something that you can use to remove any type of product buildup. And if people are using those color sprays or any kind of different powders or dry shampoos, it's gonna be incredible for that. It generally just brings out shine. I was gonna say chlorine, but unless you have your own private pool, that's probably not an issue for you right now. Um, but well water, those are gonna be another reason. So pretty well any type of pollution issue or buildup is gonna be ideal for the detoxifying shampoo. Are these treatments gluten-free? Um, there is a list of the products that are gluten-free and I'm gonna say the majority of them are. Um, I have to look up the nourishing just because that's a newer one. Um, there is something on the Davinus website and actually I do have a list in my, um, in my computer. So if anyone wants to know that, just uh, text me after the, the login is my phone number. So just text me your email and I'll send you the updated list. Uh, but it also should be on Davinus Pro and it should also be on the Davinus website. But yeah, please just message me afterwards and then I will know for sure because I, I feel like I don't want to like leave one out. But for the most part, um, the majority of the line is, but I know that there is a few based on the keratin that may not be. So thank you for that, that question. So now we're going to move to calming. Calming is one that there are times that I will use this when I'm kind of switching things around. I love it for the fact that it smells incredible, but naturally this is going to be uh, something that is going to minimize itchiness and irritation. So when people tend to feel stressed or change of season or dryness, you may find that your scalp is a little bit itchy or pain sensitive. How you know that with your clients is when you tend to blow dry someone's hair and they're wincing all the time, or they will just tell you that they have you know, sensitive scalps, this will be a great support for that type of person. Remember that a lot of times when you have one scalp issue, there's usually another one with it. So for example, mine would be hair loss, itchiness, and sometimes oily. Those are gonna be the three things. And so it's hard to kind of know like which one you go with. So what I always say is which is the one that is the worst, like which causes you the most amount of stress or which is the worst, address that and the other things should go away too. So in my case, if I had all three of those, the worst one would be hair loss because I the itchiness and the oily, no big deal, but the hair loss, I don't want to happen. But the minute I start using the hair loss in natural tech, then the itchiness and the oiliness also go away. So that's going to be how I would recommend working with these in this way. So we're going to look at blueberries as the natural fetoceutical. We all know how beneficial blueberries are for us. So that will be the active ingredient. And again, for pain or for itchiness and sensitivities. Rebalancing is to balance out the oil production. So to balance out sebum production, lemons are the fetoceuticals. If you were to visualize a bowl of olive oil and you were to squeeze a lemon in, the lemon would naturally kind of push all the oil away. And so that's what you're going to think of. It's not going to be drying for the scalp and the hair at all, but it's just going to help regulate so if you don't want to wash your hair as often, so you want to leave your hair longer in between your sessions, 
But also if you just feel like you wash your hair and later on in the day, your hair feels oily, then go ahead and use rebalancing. I feel that a lot of times, just like in any type of cycle, we're going to have times, like there's times in the month where I'm more oily than others. And so this is one that I'll just bring out. It's kind of like having a medicine cabinet of the products of whatever you need in a natural way. So this is like our prescriptive line, our natural medicine that can help address any of the issues that you may have at the time you may have. This is what's pretty well always in my shower. It doesn't mean I'm always using it because it doesn't have a matching conditioner, but I definitely will go for this more often than not. And this is because it's energizing for hair loss. This is going to have caffeine and it's also gonna have green tea, which has caffeine to stimulate the blood flow and cell reproduction. This is going to encourage the hair to keep in the growing phase. If you look at the hair in the growing phase and the resting phase and the falling out phase, this is gonna kind of keep it in that growing phase to keep the hair growing and active. So specifically, like I said, in a time like now, for those of you that know that maybe stress isn't handled for you, like the change is very hard on your system, I would recommend going through a round of the energizing just to kind of be preventative. And it's not going to do any negative effects by going through that program, but it will just stimulate the blood flow and cell reproduction to keep the hair growing. If you tend to have longer hair, and so this is going to be more focused on the scalp, then you just pick the appropriate conditioner within the other aspects of the natural tech line. So you may pick the vegetarian miracle or the renewing pack, the renewing treatment, excuse me, or the replumping conditioner or the well-being. So you can pick whichever conditioner matches your hair's needs the most. So now going back through the supports that we have for all of these products. At the very end, I'm going to cover the treatments. And so in that, the detoxifying has a treatment. The Calming Super Active has a great product, which is called our Calming Super Active. This one has Xanthiloxum. Xanthiloxum, a big fancy name, is used in Chinese medicine as a gentle pain anesthetic. So you can see kind of the atomizer spray. You would spray it in and the mist itself. Okay, I think you can kind of see it. So it's very, very light and airy, again, not oily. So I always recommend that people give it a try so that they feel and see the fact that this is not something oily that they're putting on. But it has the immediate ability where if there's an itchy spot, a little spot there, you spray it and it will take that itchiness or pain or bite away. You can even use this on like sunburn scalps or like little bug bites or anything where there is itchy or pain. I've also had this used one time when we were doing a show and someone had had a bad uh, irritation to um, what's called uh, protection provider, which is a barrier cream. And so for whatever reason, they had an allergic reaction and their skin got red and puffy. But even if you did a color and the skin got irritated, spray this afterwards as a leave-in and it immediately will like take that brightness away. If you tend to get red, like you scratched your hand and you tend to be someone that gets red easily, or even if you're using clippers on a neck, spray this and immediately it is like, takes that redness and itchiness and swelling away. So it's a great product just to have on hand in general at home, but also in the salon as a treatment that is a calming treatment. So now we're going to go into the rebalancing. When you have issues with extra oily scalps, the nice thing is, is that the energizing line, their super actives will work to minimize oil production. So you can actually use the rebalancing shampoo, but then move into our different super actives. So our super actives are actually quite simple to understand the differences between. But I think naturally when we see a whole bunch of boxes in the same name, it just kind of like our brains, at least mine tends to be like, ah, it's like too much information. So what we're going to do is we're going to break these into two different ways. We have the energizing super active, and then we have the energizing seasonal super active. Let's focus on the seasonal super active first. The term seasonal, that means that seasons change. That is going to be the drops for hair loss that can be stopped or managed. Generally speaking, I'm going to say that women have that type of hair loss more than men. When men have hair loss, they tend to have hair loss that can be managed 
but it cannot necessarily be stopped or eliminated. Whereas when women have hair loss, it is going to be more circumstantial. It is going to be more stress. It will be more environmental. And so therefore those people, specifically more women, are going to be the ones that are going to use the seasonal superactive. Men that are going to be more prone to male pattern baldness and hormonal hair loss are going to use the super active on its own. How these work is that you're going to take the dropper after you shampoo your hair and you're going to do like a drop, drop, drop. You're going to do the drops along. You're going to rub that in and leave it on completely. So both of them are going to be ones that you will always follow up after your shampoo and you will pick the appropriate conditioner that your hair needs. So if I'm gonna be using the energizing shampoo right now in my shower is a leader of the renewing conditioning treatment. So this is gonna be the conditioner that I use. And so in this case, that's what I'm using together. For a lot of times with guys, I may end up going with the well-being conditioner. I feel like guys like a tube and they just need a little bit of moisture or if they have a finer texture of hair, maybe the replumping is a nice one to help plump that. Um, okay, so let me just read some of the questions to make sure. So could you combine energizing with a conditioner from a different line? I would say I would always keep within the natural tech line when you can, um, just because they're meant to work together. Of course you can use anything. It's like with skincare, you know, it's the same thing. It's best to kind of sit within the same line because they were created to kind of work on that foundation. But if you have a favorite serum, it's not gonna be the end of the world. So yeah, I would, I would tend to stay within the line because we're working on a treatment basis. Um, could you use it before a bleach session to calm the scalp? Okay, so we're talking about the uh, super active. What I would recommend in this case is it's actually better to use it after. It's not necessarily something that can be used as a preventative it's meant to calm after. And there is there's just a, a slight difference in how something works. Like you, if you're preventing, then you're creating a barrier. But if you're going to be kind of fixing something, then you're working afterwards. Naturally, if someone is bleaching their hair quite regularly by using the nourishing or the renewing as well, those are ones that's going to be naturally putting a lot of softness and suppleness back into the skin which means that you will have less irritation. And I'm happy that you asked that question because again, this is where our education is so important because how we treat our skin on a regular basis does affect how our hair and skin reacts later. I know if I do, you know, like a peel pad on my hair, um, on my, sorry, on my skin, and then I color my hair black, well, I'm gonna have a stain because what I've done is I've exfoliated my skin. I've removed kind of everything that would naturally be exfoliated off when I'm removing my color. So it's not ideal for me to do the peel pads the night before I'm gonna color my hair. So those are things that by just having a conversation, I know Rock LeMay, who's one of our, our great colorists, like he has a whole program where he talks about the fact that he doesn't serve any coffee or caffeine during color services because of the amount of blood flow that it increases affects the ability for the natural oils to create that barrier that helps protect skin. And so when people are drinking caffeine and having a bleach service naturally, or even a, a color you know, service, it can naturally make their scalps more irritated if they're prone to irritation. So there's so many factors that play a part in it. Um, do any of these treatments lower the pH after a color service? Um, none of these are specifically meant to like kind of lower the, the pH, so to speak, but they're all pH balanced. So that's not gonna be something that's specifically as focused on this, but the keratin sealer is meant to close the cuticle. So that would be probably the one that you, I would go into that service with and then at the end kind of use the, the keratin sealer for that support. Um, in general, how many drops of energizing would you use directly on the scalp? I use it directly on the scalp. And so let me just think of, so for me, I would do like, I start at the front, like one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, so five and eight, 13. <laughs> That's just like, that would just be it, you know, but generally if you were to look at it, um, like if that's like sort of one drop, let's say like, 
one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Yeah, so pretty well almost like the whole thing is full or you can kind of go back and, and fill it in twice. Um, these are also going to be great products to be able to use uh, for anyone that has, I know right now is a weird time to say it, but like extensions is great. Just again, like strengthening and encouraging that cell reproduction, but also minimizing some of the oil so that then, you know, for them not needing to wash their hair as much, but also keeping the hair growing. Um, and for people after having a baby, the seasonal super active tends to be actually what our chemists have recommended more than the super active because of the fact that it tends to be the stress of what happens and that when the, a woman is pregnant, their hair goes through that extreme growing phase, but it doesn't have the falling out phase till after the baby is born. And so that's where you end up with so much more hair when you're pregnant and so much less hair after. So that's hair loss that can be stopped and changed, which is why we go to seasonal. So the quick fix to remember is seasonal means hair loss can be stopped and changed just like the seasons, whereas the super active on its own is going to be for ongoing hair loss that you're managing and minimizing. Then there's two other support products in the energizing line that I love. These ones are going to be more kind of, uh, there's more emphasis on the fact of it being cosmetic. The benefit is, is that they still are formulated with the same benefits and ingredients, but you can have a tonic or you can use a gel. A tonic from a cosmetic standpoint is going to be more thickening. So it's a serum that actually gives the hair texture, more thickness. So not only is it supporting everything that you've used on the scalp already, but it's going to give the hair diameter a little bit more thickness and fullness. Specifically great, even if for my texture of hair, it's actually a good reminder because I haven't had my hair this short in a while, but this will be a great one to be able to use to kind of encourage that hair growth, but to kind of also keep that fullness in the hair. And you definitely will feel it almost like a texture spray. So that's going to be what's really great about the thickening tonic. The gel is going to be more shinier and more softer, about a two out of five hold, but it also has strengthening abilities. And this would be probably another great one if you kind of wanted to be giving the hair a little bit more fullness and softness, but maybe not as much texture to it, but also the, the strengthening benefits of this. The way that the gel is applied is that you have like sort of a, 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 a twist nose, nozzle, and then you can kind of apply it like directly to the scalp and then bring it through, or this one you could put it in your hand and then distribute through. So these are going to be some of the different supports when we start looking at the whole thing for natural tech in specifically in energizing. So recapping, you have your detoxifying scrub, which is your great treatment placement to kind of like exfoliate and cleanse the scalp and the hair prior to picking your appropriate treatment. Then you're going to have your calming, which is going to have your blueberries, which is for pain sensitivity and itchiness and irritation. I love to use this and recommend it for people that have psoriasis or eczema. It's not going to eliminate it because of course that is something that is more medical, but when you think of the kind of the, the feeling of the irritation, the redness or the itchiness, you're going to see that this will work incredibly. Rebalancing is going to have our lemons, which are to balance out our sebum production. And then our energizing is going to be for hair loss, either preventative, but it is also going to encourage the cell reproduction and growth. A few testimonials in, these in this line that I want to share from personal perspectives. So three people that are more closer in my life that I can be able to share. So my son, when he um, was kind of going through sort of like the, the mid-teens, ended up with quite bad uh, skin acne. So the, the skin acne started going sort of into his, you know, into his whole hairline. And so for him, I got him quite regularly onto the natural tech line using the uh, detoxifying scrub as an exfoliator just to kind of like get that going. But then I also would go ahead and I would use the detoxifying mud. The detoxifying mud is a clay. So this is a clay directly from Italy that has the ability to extract impurities of the scalp and the hair. So this was an incredible mask to be able to use on his scalp because it had the ability to kind of extract. So it didn't really like dry it out, but the extraction process actually did kind of dry it out, but not like a dry, like flaky dry, but just like kind of getting that extra bit out. 
So this was a great support for him. Um, it is also a great mask to be able to use for anyone that has well water or just built up pollution. So this is gonna be a really great support. So for him, the natural tech line was something that was being you know, able to use uh, and support him. As well, I had him on the rebalancing for the fact of the extra sebum production of being a teen. So that was his program that he ended up working with and really enjoying. Then my sister, and I've mentioned this maybe before on a, on a, on a call, uh, my sister is, is currently going through treatment for breast cancer. And I, I can't show you the picture because I think that it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't be fair, but I want to show you the picture. But she literally is, I think, about halfway through her treatment right now. And she lost all of her hair and using the natural tech line has her hair the same length as my sides all over her head. Everyone in the treatment center, so there's hundreds of women that are coming in and out of this treatment. Not one of them has had hair grow back in this capacity to the softness and to the same um, like thickness and diameter to what it did before. So probably most of you have had clients that have gone through breast cancer treatments. And from my knowledge, when I was a stylist behind the chair, a lot of times the women, it would almost kind of have a weird kinky texture and it would sort of be a finer fluff. It just didn't, it was hard to cut because it just didn't want to do anything. Her hair like looks like better than my hair. Like I can't even believe it. And so with her, I put her on sort of a whole complete program. So I'm going to walk you through a little bit of what I recommended to her. And so I'm not saying that this is a cancer treatment line, but again, what I think it is, is it's addressing what are the issues. So I basically said, look, from, from my understanding, by talking to different people that have had the, the different treatments, the scalp can be very, very painful and sensitive. So when people first lose their hair after going through chemo treatments, I guess what happens is that again, like the hair falls out at the bed, but the, the hair is still in the root area. So that can be painful, but also itchy. So I got her hooked up on the detoxifying scrub just to kind of like naturally exfoliate. But then I got her on the calming and then specifically the calming super active. She is pretty well drinking this, I'm sure. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm not meaning literally drinking it, but like the amount that she is going through of this is insane. Like she swears by this. She says it immediately, as soon as she's feeling itchiness or pain or discomfort on her scalp, she puts this on it. Done. Then, I don't have them here, but I had her using the Royal Jelly Treatments. The Royal Jelly Treatments are liquid vials that you put on your scalp to nourish and hydrate. And basically, Royal Jelly is the, the nourishment that the worker bees give the queen bee. So when you think about that, if we're replicating that type of concentration, that a queen bee can solely survive off of the saliva of the working bees, then this is a treatment that I, I guess years ago, bodybuilders and probably still people can um, take internally to basically give them that multivitamin in every capacity. So I had her using it on her scalp to again, soften kind of that tightness, but also to nourish it. So that's been her program initially. Then I said, the minute that she starts to kind of feel like she's gotten through that initial process, to start going into the energizing to stimulate the blood flow and cell reproduction. So as you can see, she's on all of those. I guess I have recommended them, and I am her. I would want to say this. If I was going through that treatment and I didn't have the knowledge I have, I would want someone to walk me through that whole process. And if everything in my world is falling apart and those products make me feel better, it's not for me to judge whether someone wants to afford it or not. And I think that's sometimes what happens. So my, my sister um, isn't someone that's worked for many years. So yeah, granted, it's not something, but I know that she would pay any amount of money she would find a way to pay for those types of products to get what she needs to get to get that that feeling that she needs for her hair but for her body so i guess i just want to encourage you although i've listed probably eight products that i had her on the results are incredible not only for her self-esteem but also for how she visually looks and feels in a time like this and that amount of money that someone would pay is absolutely worth it 
So encouraging you to go through the recommendation process and let people pick whatever it is that they would want to pick. So then there are many different people, and this tends to be more with guys that will end up, they will end up having hair loss. And as a result of having hair loss, they will wear hats too often. So if people wear hats too often, let's think about this. If guys naturally probably are quite a bit warmer than women, they're going to produce a little bit more moisture. They're going to sweat more. And if they're wearing their hats, they're probably not going to be washing their hats as often, or maybe at all. So with that, they potentially can build up a type of fungus that can be on their scalp, which creates almost like an eczema, psoriasis, or sores. So again, in these situations, I've recommended the Natural Tech line, and those things within two weeks are immediately gone. When we had the purifying, the purifying worked on selenium disulfide and zinc perithalone. They have two products within the purifying, which completely eliminate dandruff like nothing else. And I'm sorry to bring that up, but at the same time, again, the Natural Tech line is going to be able to support even dandruff by shifting the program. So for my recommend recommendation with dandruff is I would recommend weekly, if possible, or however often, whenever they're coming in, to use the Renewing Pro Boost. This is an insulin treatment. This basically has glyconic acid, which is like a peel. So it's going to have the ability to be put on the scalp and it kind of lifts everything off. There's also a really big word I tried to remember and I keep trying it's glycotum tone or something. And sorry, I'll have to look it up again. Basically, <laughs> pronunciation. Um, basically what it is, is it's found in our systems as a cell regenerator. So it has the ability to kind of speed up that cell regeneration to kind of help that softness and create that natural healing barrier on the skin. So this once a week is applied to the scalp in a salon treatment. And then after 10 to 15 minutes, it's you know rinsed off and removed. And this is going to literally make the scalp feel like it's lifted and breathing, but it will also remove any of that type of buildup that's happening. So after someone were to have that treatment, then I would be putting them on either the calming, generally is going to be a good one for, for dandruff. Um, but again, if it is sort of a woman with longer hair and maybe a little bit of dry and flakiness, you could go ahead and go into the nourishing. And you also can use the royal jelly uh, because again, that's going to be sort of hydrating. So kind of pick and choose depending on some of their other issues. But generally the natural tech line will eliminate dandruff by nature of the other healing properties. So although there, it isn't a specific one for it, if you're in Canada, the line itself will generally fix that issue because it's a few different issues that have been built up. So that's gonna be your Renewing Pro Boost. The super active filler for replumping is going to be an insulin treatment to basically put the hyaluronic acid in maximum capacity into the hair. So this is your plumping treatment. So again, we're looking at that sort of 10 to 15 minutes where you're leaving it on and automatically it's important that the person is taking home the replumping line and the super active filler because this is kind of the foundation and this is the follow-up. So that's gonna be the, the insulin treatment for the, the super active filler for replumping. Then we have the keratin wonder, sorry, and the keratin booster. So the keratin, whoops, sorry. Keratin Wonder and the Keratin Booster. This is going to be our intense keratin treatment. Basically, this is going to be the same type of treatment using malic acid and the keratin um, supports that we have, the vegetable keratin, that you would find when people are using the other brands that they put into their bleaches as a bond builder. So this is the bond builder and bond repair, as well as a protector from sun and UV damage that you would use as a treatment. The measurements are going to be six to one. So that's gonna be kind of your measurements in when you're weighing this in, that you're going to put them together. You can definitely use the Keratin Wonder on its own, but for more intense treatments, you're going to add these drops into it in that same type of measurement. And so again, this is going to be the 10 to 15 minutes. The 10 minutes is going to be ideal if you're putting it with heat, and if you're not using it with heat, then you would use it for the 15 minutes. The way that the hair feels is incredible. The hair feels completely strengthened. It's building the bonds back together. It's reinforcing, it's preventative, and it literally has the ability to create a miracle. 
all three of those treatments, and then let's add the detoxifying mud can be used as often as once a week. They are meant for professional use, so they're meant to be used in the salon with your type of support. But again, depending on the circumstance, these are things that can be supported by, you know, every time that the client is coming in, as long as you've explained the benefits and the, the requirements, and then that can be kind of added into the time service so that it can be best supported for your guests. So that's gonna be kind of the whole focus with natural tech. I'm hoping that it didn't feel like there was like too much going on. So I wanna kind of simplify it for you. Ultimately within natural tech, this is our ability to be able to shine with coming up with solutions, but also giving our clients the support they need for their hair and scalp issues. If they don't come to us, it's very hard for them to find another support and source to get that kind of knowledge, but to also get these types of products. Not only are they going to have the healing properties, but they're also going to be focused on being higher in naturally derived ingredients, but including being biodegradable. So not only do they fix the problem, but they also are going to be focused on natural, but also focused on the environment. Considering the fact that it comes from a family-run company, that the company manufactures skincare, hair care, and color, then you know that it's going to be best supportive for all of those situations, including that the company itself, being Davinus, is 100% zero impact in their packaging and in their products, and including the people that work with the company, that then their flights and their travel are zero impact as well. So when you kind of have this conversation of all of the benefits, in my perspective, this is going to be something that you would naturally want to be able to have your clients using to know that it is not only going to improve the quality of their hair, but it's also going to be good for their environment, but a good social choice as well. The benefit again is going to be that even if you slightly prescribe incorrectly, all of these products are going to have the same types of supports in the way that they're going to fight disease and breakdown fight against anti, like they're going to, you know, be anti-inflammatory, they're going to be antioxidant. And so all of these factors together are great for scalp and hair. Um, let me just read a few of the other questions that came in. Uh, renewing, for natural sebum-based issues, detoxifying, buildup, pollution, etc. is this correct? Okay, so renewing is going to be more for improving softness, shine and fullness. So that is gonna be more for aging hair. For sebum issues, that is going to be best to be used in the rebalancing, but also energizing in those, uh, the seasonal superactives and the superactives will also help manage the sebum production. For buildup and pollution, you're going to have detoxifying. So yes, that's correct. Um, I, of course, I also have like quick guides, so you can again afterwards just text me or email and I can send you any information that you want to have. Uh, would you add Keratin Wonder to Lightning or before or after Lightning service? Right, so the Keratin Wonder is going to have the same benefits as the competitors use in the Lightning service. The nice thing is that our bleaches and lighteners already have that factor built in. So this is an additional treatment that you would use. So you wouldn't be putting it into your bleacher lighteners, but it is having the same benefits of what they use in those types of products. So by having that type of support of keratin and the malic acid is gonna be that bond builder and that reconstructor that allows the hair to sort of like re-adhere to itself so that it strengthens and it is also protective at the same time. Um, what would the six to ratio, uh, one ratio be? Um, I think it's like six, uh, like say six, uh, 30 to five or something like that, right? So if you were to use five, I'm trying to think mils, then it'd be like 30. Yes. Yeah. Um, again, there's, there's different brochures that will give a breakdown, but I think it's, I think it's in mils. I think it's like 30 mils of the, um, and the bigger one being the wonder, and then you're using five of the booster to be put in between. Awesome. Um, any other questions that you guys have? Um, I'm, I'm grateful to have had you guys here with me today. Um, it's wonderful to, to see you. 
next week. Um, I've mentioned my Tuesdays are focused on sustainability. That's at 10 a.m. Pacific time. 11 is going to be business uh, on Wednesdays. And then um, next Friday at nine o'clock, I'm gonna go through some of the, the new launches, including a single shampoo um, and some of the new things that have been going on with Davina. So that will be next Friday. And then Wednesday afternoon, I'm actually on a panel for sustainability with Green Circle uh, for Earth Day. And I believe that's gonna be one o'clock our time. Um, I'll post it on my page so that you guys can see uh, more information about that. Um, but as well with your salons and your team, I'm happy to do individual Zooms um, if you feel that this type of information can be beneficial, but also I can send you the video. So yeah, wonderful to see all of you. If you have any questions, just let me know and I'll stay on for another few seconds. And if not, then I'll close the meeting for the day. Um, and you can go about the rest of your day. Awesome. Thank you. Nice to see you here, Andrea. And of course, nice to see the rest of you here. It's just that she was saying thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Nice to see you here, Adrian. Thank you, Jill. Uh, you're sweet. Thanks, Kelly. Makes my day to see all of you guys here. It's a nice way to stay connected too. So I, I appreciate you guys extending and, and making the time and effort. Awesome. Have a great day, all of you. Thank you. Thanks, Chelsea. Thanks, Sonia. Diana. All right, I'll go ahead and stop the, the